So a lot of you have wondered about what I do when I'm not making craft and costume videos, what I do for a living, and the answer to that is I am a farmer. So yes, I am a cosplaying farmer. Uh, there's not many of us, we're pretty few and far between, but we do exist, there's a few of us. Uh, if you're a fellow cosplaying farmer, give a shout out. And I raise vegetables too, but my mainstay, what I raise the most of, is flowers. This is one of my glads, which is starting to come on. So this is one of my sunflower rows, and I've actually got a bunch of these out here. And so that's my broom corn. If you build it, he will come. Uh, I got a bunch of sunflower rows all along here. So there's about 12 that are ripe enough for cutting today, about 12 rows. I'm just going to go through and cut all the blooming heads out of them. Here's the next generation growing up. And these are my babies. These are my absolute favorites. These are the really black ones. These are my favorite. I look forward to these all year. I actually made an entire bouquet out of just the dark ones one year. They're very rich looking. There's an old picture I took of it. Those are my absolute favorites, but got a bunch of different colors. Ring of fires and bright yellows, and they all go together to make nice bouquets. And I got a bunch of different sizes. I got like the cute little tiny things like this. And then I've got some that are quite a bit larger. I actually like the big heads a little better than the small ones because they go together faster in bouquets. And I like the big heads and I cannot lie. And so then I just go through and I cut them all one by one with my trusty pair of flower scissors. And none of my flowers are sprayed. I don't spray anything because some people think it doesn't matter if you spray flowers because you're not eating them. But I think it matters because all that spray is still washing down into the water and I for one don't want to drink it. So. I don't spray anything. My stuff is all raised pretty much organically. I'm not certified. There's a lot of red tape to get certified. So I'm not certified organic, but I raise everything organically. So. When you cut flowers, they end up drying into like spears. So um, when you go to cut a flower, you end up impaling yourself on the wrist, which I've done more times than I can remember. And so then I just bring up all the piles of cut flowers. This is how I keep my muscles in shape for my Wonder Woman costume. And today it's about 92 degrees out here, so I am sweating my... off. Load them all into Serenity. Yes, I named my car after a spaceship. And then I just drive them all up to the house. Then I'll end up doing about two more loads the same size, so... There's probably almost a thousand flower stems here, which I will be putting to use this evening. And so then I will spend the next several hours just ripping the leaves off these flowers. I rip the leaves off so that I can make them into bouquets easier. And I just go through one by one and rip the leaves off of this for hours and hours and hours. So I'm doing this, I usually tape off my index finger and my thumb because those are the two that I hold the stems between when I'm stripping the leaves off of them. And that prevents me from ripping the skin off my fingers. When you're doing hundreds of flowers, that's kind of a hazard. So I tape up my fingers to keep the skin on them. And so even though I love working with flowers, this job does get pretty boring, so I usually watch something while I'm doing it. Um, in the earlier part of the day, I'll watch the westerns that are on TV because I am a western junkie. And then later on, I usually watch a movie once the westerns are off. And so today my sunflower movie is going to be my all-time favorite movie, Lord of the Rings, still in its nice vintage cassette form. So many hours later, by the time I'm done stripping the flowers, my hands have turned pretty green. And then I just take all those flowers and I spend the next several hours making them into bouquets. I've got mixed flower bouquets, and I've got my little sunflower bunches, and I don't do all of them. Some of them I leave in pails because some of them I can put together right at the market. Um, but I always have to have uh, at least a few ready to go because otherwise um, I can't finish them all at the market. So uh, here's all the all the pails of flowers once I've gotten them stripped. The different colored sunflowers. And then here's some of my sunflower bouquets. And again, my mixed bouquets. I've been doing this pretty much most of my life. Uh, my grandfather did it, and I helped him, and then my mom did it, and I helped her, and now I work for myself doing it. So there's my 10 different pails of sunflowers. It's a lot of sunflowers, 
Oh, they're my biggest crop right now this time of the year. Hot, humid weather really makes them pop. And so here we are. It is quarter to four in the morning. Yes. I can finally go to bed. It's about a 16 hour day, but... And then I pack everything into my Sunfire. It's a very, very tight squeeze. And so the back seat of my Sunfire folds down and I just pack it full of flowers. And the front seat and the trunk, this entire car, every square inch of this car is packed with flowers. And I drive to the market like this. And of course the trunk is full too. And I even managed to pack my tent. I don't know if you can see that, but I actually have a tent in here with all these flowers. Pack a lot in a sunfire. Great advertisement for a sunfire. This is what you call a fully loaded automobile. So I hope you've all enjoyed this little glimpse into my normal life. Normal, of course, being a somewhat relative term, since I suppose this isn't exactly the most normal of lives, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed it, and uh, <laughs> you probably understand why uh, this time of the year I sometimes uh, a little bit behind on my costume to-do list, because I have a lot of flowers to do.